हॅलो माय सेल्फ रवींद्र चव्हाण असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजिनिअरिंग वालचंद इन्स्ट ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी सोलापूर सो इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस द बीट मॅन्युपुलेशन इन्स्ट्रक्शन्स डिफाइंड इन एट झिरो फाईव्ह वन मायक्रो कंट्रोलर सो ॲट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन द स्टुडंट विल बी एबल टू डेव्हलप द व्हेरियस एट झिरो फाईव्ह वन प्रोग्रॅम्स बाय मेकिंग द यूज ऑफ द बीट मॅन्युपुलेशन ऑपरेशन्स now in this session first uh, we will see the 8051 arithmetic and logical unit and boolean processor then uh, we will uh, see what this bit addressable space then we will go through the different instructions which can be used to perform the operation on one bit of information and uh, we will write uh, one small program so as far as the 8051 microcontroller is concerned the 8051 microcontroller is of uh, 8 bit okay so that's why the uh, arithmetic and logical unit in 8051 is also of 8 bit and that's why this alu performs the operation on two 8 bit values so alu it is mainly responsible to perform the various arithmetic operations like the uh, addition subtraction multiplication division and the logical operations uh, like and or not xor on the two values of 8 bit h now when we are going to perform the any arithmetic and logical operations the one of the operand that is the one of the value must be kept in the register a and that's why this register a can be referred to as a accumulator and after uh, the operations the result is also getting in the register a then boolean processor now 8051 is having the special features of boolean processor now this boolean processor is responsible to perform the operations on one bit of information okay so for that the 8051 has a special memory area in on chip memory that is in internal data memory where we can access the individual bit and this bit manipulation uh, operations are required a, a number of times like to set the bit to reset the bit or it is also required to perform some logical operations on uh, to one bit value okay so uh, we just see as far as the operations on 8 bit is concerned the register a will work as a accumulator but when we go for the operation on one bit of information for that instructions the carry bit which is located in the psw register works as an accumulator in one bit operation now the bit addressable space now if you remember the memory organization in 8051 then uh, uh, we know that the total ram is of 256 bytes out of this the lower 128 bytes are available to store the data so lower 128 bytes is called as a data memory and upper 128 bytes is called as a special function register area again coming to the lower 128 bytes the lower 32 bits are divided in four register banks and then from byte address 20 to 2f these 16 addresses or location is called as a bit addressable space okay now see this is the byte address 20 to 2f 
and each address contains this the 8 bit now from this area we can access the any individual bit and to access these bits, the addresses provided are like this. This is the bit address 00, then next 01, next so on, 07, then coming to the LSB bit of the byte address 21, that is the bit address 8, and so on. And the last address will be the MSB bit of byte address 2f and that address is 7f. So in this particular uh, space we can store maximum 128 bits. So 16 addresses and each address contains 8 bits. So 16 into 8 comes 128 and 128 28 bits to address this the seven address bits are sufficient that's why it will start from 00 and it will go to 7f so when you are going to use the any uh, uh, bit manipulation instruction in 8051 your source must be present in this particular bit addressable space and these bits can be accessed with the address from 00 to 7f. Now the bit manipulation instructions in 8051. So first instruction is the CLR means clear the bit. So here as far as the operand is concerned you have to specify the bit. And this bit is nothing but the one of the address from bit addressable space. So the bit value here, it must be between 0, 0 to 7fh. Now this instruction clears the bit. So example clear C, so carry flag will be cleared. Clear P 1.1 means the first bit of the port 1 will be cleared clear 07 means the address bit address 07 will be clear and this 07 address is nothing but the msb bit of address byte address 20h then set b is used to set the bit in the same fashion then cpl it is used to complement the bit now here for in this operand column this bit means the address of the bit and that address must be between 0 0 to 7 f okay then uh, for and operation anl c comma bit so it will perform the and operation between the carry bit and the specified bit then ORL for the OR operation, move C to transfer the bit, move C comma bit means your source will be coming from bit addressable space and that bit will be get stored in the C. Move bit comma C means your source is carry bit and the destination will be one bit address from the bit addressable space. Now see difference between uh, the byte address and bit address. If we say move a comma 0 0, now a is a 8 bit. That's why 0 0 will be considered as a byte address. Now move c comma 0 0. Now c is a carry bit. It is of 1 bit. So 0 0 will be considered as a bit address. Now uh, write a 8051 program to evaluate the following Boolean expression. Z is equal to complement of P dot Q plus R dot S. And you assume that P, Q, R and S are of 1 bit value and stored from consecutive addresses starting with the 0, 0 and store the result that is the z at 
0.08. So you pause the video and write the program for this. So this is the program. So uh, references used for this, the 8051 by Mazidi and microcontrollers by Ajay Deshmukh. Thank you.